Welcome to another CMAC tutorial, how to format an external hard drive for Windows and Mac. Hi, I'm Terry Dolph, an engineer at CMAC. Today I'd like to show you how you can format your external hard drive to be used on both Mac and PC computers. You can write and save on your new portable hard drive, and you can plug it into a PC or Mac computer and share files. The format we want is XFAT. Let's start on a PC or Windows computer. Once you've plugged in your external hard drive on your PC, let's go to your desktop and let's go down to the bottom here, bottom left, where the magnifying glass is. Left click and we're looking for File Explorer. And there it is. Left click File Explorer. And that takes you to your Explorer, which shows you all your files on your computer. Let's go down a little bit. Uh, do not format C drive, whatever you do, because that has all your files on it that would be a bad thing. You don't want to wipe everything on your computer. So make sure you see the entitled E drive and click that. Left click that and you see there's nothing on it. The folder is empty. Now let's go ahead and format it. Let's right click and then let's move up to the format command. Left click that and it shows us that we're on entitled E and the file system that normally they come with is NTFS and that's only good for PCs so we want to change it to XFAT which is a universal format and that will work on a Mac also so let's left click XFAT and let's give it a new name I like to give my hard drives my name Terry followed by the size which is one terabyte followed by the type of format XFAT and there we go now let's left click start and uh, warning it will erase all the data so we say we are on E so we want to go OK it sometimes takes a long time so be patient OK format is complete let's left click OK and close the format window out let's go back to our file explorer by going to the bottom and left clicking and launching File Explorer. Let's go to all our files and let's select, there it is, Terry, one terabyte XFAT. So you have successfully formatted your external hard drive to XFAT, which now you can use on both a Mac or PC computer. Now let's look at how to create an XFAT format external hard drive on a Mac. Okay, after we plugged in our new external hard drive into your Mac, uh, you want to go on your desktop down to the bottom left and you want to launch Finder. And let's see if we can't find the no name. There it is right there. And it's empty. It doesn't have anything on it. The next thing we want to do is go up to the upper right hand corner and click on the magnifying glass for search. And we're going to look for the disk utility. There it is. Let's hit enter. And let's watch it come up. There it is. And on a Mac, you need to erase your uh, hard drive, but not your Mac hard drive, because that'll erase everything on the computer. You want to go down here to No Name, and that's the external hard drive that you plugged in, and that's the one you want to format. Now, in order to format it, you have to go up here to Erase, and click Erase and then it comes down. The format is for Windows NTFS so you want to change it by clicking left here to and go up to XFAT and left click that. Now let's give it a name. I like to give my disk my name so somebody knows who owns it. One terabyte size next and then what the format is. X is in this case XFAT. Now we go down here making sure that we have not selected Mac HD because that would erase all your files on your computer. Then you go back here to Erase and click Erase. There we go. Now it's finished. We'll click Done. And we'll go over here and we'll make sure that we are nothing on it. It's empty and it's ready to go. Now you have formatted your Mac external drive to work on both Mac and PC. 
If you like this tutorial, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and be sure to check out our playlist or other tutorials. You can stay up to date on all things CMAC by following us on social media. Learn how you too can become a member with access to equipment, editing tools, and other resources by going to cmac.tv.